Good morning, y'all. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> I see chores is a family affair. Yes, it is. Around here. <laughs> we try to keep it that way. Papa and... Meemaw. Meemaw. And a bunch of good-looking Chiddler girls. We have Ava, Madison, Ainsley, uh, Sophie, and then the other two are still sleeping. That would be Sophie and Aaliyah. I mean, Olivia, Olivia and Aaliyah. Aaliyah. My name is Michael Arsenault, and my wife, Christine, and I live in New Iberia, Louisiana, and on a little 10-acre spread called La Femme d'Israël. <laughs> So these, these chicken mobiles you've been seeing throughout the country, do they have solid floors? Do they have grid floors? Uh, I've seen both, but I recommend grid floors so that then you don't have to clean it out. So the manure, manure foster. Grid floor. I can see that. You get the manure coming right through. Get that grid that came from farmtech.com okay um i had seen the design it used expanded steel and uh -huh. I, I, I didn't want to deal with that with chickens getting bumblefoot and plastics easy to clean and more sanitary no rust so i guess i didn't really need to put these on i could have just left them off but i wanted to give them more shade man you win the best looking egg mobile <laughs> look at that So you're probably wondering why are the rows spaced so <laughs> far apart? <laughs> yeah, this is a uh, well. We designed garden the garden. Here. It was every row, and then my wife, having muscular dystrophy, decided she needed a place to get to the garden. So we hooked up the box blade. We knocked down every other row, and we only planted every other row. We wanted more control of where our food came from. Uh, we wanted to have our kids and grandkids involved. We wanted them to learn that uh, it's okay to have animals for pets, but this is primarily where our food comes from, not the supermarket plastic wrap generic box that most people are used to. What are some things that help you get through your health issues? My wife, my faith. Um, when I went through this last surgery, I just, I just knew I had a, I wasn't scared this time around. I just, I didn't, I knew I was coming back. Because I figured, God's not doing me yet. He's got some purpose here. He's going to keep me around. He didn't bring me this far through this whole uh, heart issue to just let me die on the table. My goal for the homestead is to be entirely self-sufficient in my family's uh, feeding. What's your plans for these guys? Those are a breeder pair we just bought. This lady a breeder pair of uh, bourbon red. He's puffing up all the time, I noticed. Come on, lady, give him some attention. You have family on on the property too? Yeah, we have a uh, son and his three daughters live up here. And daughter, son-in-law, and their three daughters live up <laughs> in the front on this end. <laughs> You're prone to girls, huh? Yeah, I, I had nothing to do with that. <laughs> <laughs> at, least you'll, uh, at least you'll get phone calls from the at least I'm grandkids not paying. 20 years from now. <laughs> at least I'm not paying for the wedding bills. <laughs> Come on now, hee-haw for us. They were doing it this morning. I don't know if you heard them. I did. Camera wasn't rolling. You heard it? Our biggest struggle for accomplishing the goals on the homestead have been, I guess, primarily our health. Uh, my wife has had muscular dystrophy since she was a child, well, since she was born. And as we get older, it doesn't get any easier. Uh, I recently went through emergency open heart surgery um, less than two months ago and that put a, a little damper on things getting chores done this is cool now this is a prefab system or did you make this up 
This, I mean, this chloroplast that you see little yard signs made uh -huh. of, this is, this is a sheet of it. Wow. And this is catching their manure, it's on a slant, and urine, comes down into the gutter, comes down into the bucket. Bucket, I love this all right. system. And then this goes straight to the garden, or it goes into my black fly uh, system, black soldier fly system. Look, I see that's jamming. Black soldier fly. Oh yeah, it's working good for you. Yep. That's one day's worth. Ooh. That's going to the chickens this morning. They climb up. Oh yeah, look. And they'll generally climb up this little ramp and get into the bucket. I just put them in fresh manure yesterday. So they're, they need some more dry matter. So I'm gonna throw some chick, I'll throw a chick feed in there. These two like to help a lot with the rabbits. What is your job with your rabbits, guys? To feed them. Oh, look. Good job, barn cat. Doing your job. That's tiger. You are a miniature tiger. Oh, 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 don't let it go away. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, they lost it. What are you feeding them? Yeah, you just you just say yes, Papa, don't you? Now, do you come out here every day and do this? Every day for school. Does Peppa pay you for this? Uh oh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. They get free eggs. They get free eggs, huh? <laughs> That's your payment. That's payment too. The girls can get attached to these guys, huh? Yes. They they've gotten attached to several of them before slaughter and. They've come in the morning, Papa, where's Mr. Mustache? I'm like, well, baby, Papa had to put Mr. Mustache in the freezer. And look at that. And now that can go directly to your garden? Directly to your garden. Or your soldier fly bin. And you feed your soldier flies to the chickens? Yes. There we go, what do you want? What are you doing there? I'm gonna add all this to the manure. You're putting in the live grubs into the manure. And I'm gonna throw in a scoop of uh, chicken scraps. Uh-huh. And that supplements the chicken's diet. Because they'll tear everything up. Spread it around, they'll pick all these out. Oh, look, and look. then they'll spread your manure for you. Did you see the adult? She was sitting right here. Hey, Mr. Brown. You up and at him this morning? <laughs> I no, think he's hunting the trampoline. Word on the street, the kids are out and about on the trampoline. We just paced ourselves. Uh, we use a tractor. I bought this on Craigslist. Uh, turned out it was a friend of a friend that owned it. Everything uh, so far is quick connect. I do want to add some more hydraulics to the rear end later to be able to do more things, but it does what we need to do. It hauls our hay, it tills the garden, it makes our rows. Were you happy to see him get a tractor? Yes, I was. He's been wanting a tractor and some acreage for quite some time. I'd say this is uh, some perk to a physical slowdown, buddy. Yeah. Good excuse for a tractor. <laughs> <laughs> he finally found his excuse he to get a tractor. He finally found his didn't excuse. <laughs> and it's hydrostatic, so even she can drive it. We are currently getting out of breeding cattle, uh, going to smaller animals that are easier to handle, like goats. Uh, still be able to get our milk, but just not have to deal with. Uh, deal more with an animal I can throw over my shoulder instead of an animal that can throw me over its shoulder. All right, Mr. Brown, let's go find the other kids and the trampoline. Hey. hey. We got one more. I'll help you. Wear your socks. All right, wow. Okay, have fun, guys. 50 years from now, what would you love to see your 
grandchildren say about their papa? I'm gonna cry. It's all right. Fifty years from now, I'd like my grandchildren to know I really loved them, and this is why I did this. So he got his tractor, you got your golf cart. I love my golf cart, it helps me get around everywhere I have to go. <laughs>